Today, we need to get into Jungkook saying he has been a bit scared or nervous. We need to talk about Jungkook spotted at the salon for the military. And we need to talk about fans yelling at Jungkook during one of his last or recent shows. So you don't believe it's Dave Desai, hate it or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, taste spilling mug merch, and let's go. This clip or footage of some fans shouting at Jungkook has recently gone viral and is absolutely hilarious. If you do not know what is going on, then let me tell you. Before I get into that, I have to give you some context. BTS members are definitely something special, but a lot of celebrities and singers are something special. We can probably think of hundreds of people who are off the wall talented. People like Beyonce or Taylor Swift, and they have such a huge cult following everywhere. However, the difference with Beyonce and Taylor Swift is it's hard to compare their level of stan culture when comparing it to BTS. Fans will say some of the most out of the pocket and semi-delusional things about BTS and K-pop stars that I have ever seen. There was a specific post that I thought was so interesting and it was about a girl saying that her grandfather died or something like that and then the comments were telling her that Jungkook loves them as if Jungkook is some sort of god that could bring back the dead from his love. I've even seen people insist that BTS members actually do know every single person in the fandom and are actually friends with all of them and that's not human possible. Knowing this, I think it's quite obvious that the fandom sees Jungkook and BTS members as more than human and someone to be worshipped, even though he himself has never asked for this. And I think this is absolutely very interesting, and there could be a case study on his effect on the world. With that said, I don't think most human beings who may even have such an impact on the world be aware that they do. Because you have to be quite self-centered to think that everyone just worships you. And those who do think this probably aren't getting worshipped. So what happened with Jungkook? Jungkook was doing his solo performance as he does and he went in the middle of his performance to take a swig of water. Not a big deal and when an artist has a free moment they're best to hydrate so they don't pass out or faint on stage. A set can range from a few minutes to an hour or two, so a lot of people think it's unnecessary to drink water. However, they could faint given how much they could be sweating. Anyways, as Jungkook took some water, you could hear the audience gasp and say aww very loudly. It was almost as if they were yelling because it was so loud and clear. Of course, there's like thousands of people at the performance. To hear it so clearly means everyone was doing this all at the same time. And you could see right on Jungkook's face, he was like, what is going on? And this sparked a huge huge conversation online about how Jungkook actually has no idea how whipped the entire fandom is for him. That simply him sipping water or him doing these little things is enough for the fandom to go absolutely feral. And I really do think it's so funny. He did look super cute doing that, but I am curious if you would have gasped or made a sound just like the audience did. Jungkook hasn't only been doing shows, but of course has been doing press. He recently did an interview with Apple Music and people were shocked at how good the questions were during the interview and how the host had literally flown out from wherever he was to the US to meet Jungkook in Korea. The host asked Jungkook questions about Jungkook's journey growing up and asked if Jungkook feels like Seoul is home to him now. The host made sure to note that of course Jungkook wasn't born there but born in Busan, however has he adjusted and made his new place feel like home. Of course Jungkook answered that there's no place like home. I really loved this question. I loved how the interviewer phrased it which made it clear that the interviewer did in fact do their homework and was aware of where Jungkook was originally from. We even got to know Jungkook from a more introspective way, to have Jungkook talk about how when he travels he also tends to try to look and notice architecture. And that is something that means a lot to him when he notices how different everything is from different places. I would say the major stark differences are probably the more older traditional living in certain parts of Asia and then how we live here in the US. However, the modern luxury apartment complexes in cities seem pretty similar everywhere you go, at least from my opinion. This was also interesting to hear Jungkook talk about. Another interesting question and something worth noting was the interviewer asked since Jungkook has been the youngest in BTS for so long, does creating the album Golden make Jungkook feel not the youngest? And I really like Jungkook's answer to this. He said that being the youngest will never change because no matter how much he ages, he will obviously still be the youngest. He also mentioned he doesn't like being the youngest or called the maknae and 
he thinks the album is very much him just compacted into a small album. I love this answer as it's a question that we all have been wondering about, and it's good to see the growth that he has. Music and art isn't supposed to be stagnant, but it's supposed to grow. If an artist is remaining the same and not showing any change, then that is not an artist that is interested in creating art, but one that is just interested in making money. Because if you notice something works and you keep doing it and you try to remain on camera or somewhat the same person as you did when you started, then that's trying to keep a brand for monetary reasons. It's not who you are because we all change so much on the daily. Idols and celebrities are exposed to the darkest parts of the industry to some of the craziest and out of the world stuff. They grow and change so fast. If they're not showing you that, that's just to make money. And Jungkook doesn't need any more money. He is showing you himself now. Going back, Jungkook was also asked how he was when he first started music and how he was feeling. The interview asked when he first moved from Busan, was he scared, nervous, or how was he feeling? Junko described himself as extremely introverted. He ended up feeling like Seoul was so scary because the roads in Busan were extremely small and the buildings were small. So to go from that smaller life to a much bigger one is no doubt extremely scary. He described it as traveling into the future. We can see how much he adapted and changed. I can only hope that every person, whether a celebrity or not, has the opportunity to go completely out of their comfort zone and do something they would never dream of. Of course, nothing life-threatening, but if you're someone from a small town going over to experience a bigger one or doing something that might scare you, again, not life-threatening. And this is how you grow as a person. It's important to look at every experience as an opportunity to learn more about yourself or learn a new skill that you can put away and use later. So I hope people can take that away from this video at least. Jungkook might also be starting a new journey soon, and it's very fun to see him almost have to start over, and this time we're all a bit older so we can watch and see how he grows and changes. He will be starting a new journey in the military, and people are starting to wonder when. Of course, we don't have a date, but some people have been speculating and some people have had thoughts that it would be now. There was actually a photo that circulated where Jungkook was at the salon and someone was getting their head shaved, and Jungkook and Suga were there. People thought that this is Jungkook getting his head shaved next. However, this photo was actually from the Sujita episode with Jin. This is Suga's talk show, if you're unaware, and he did one with Jin before Jin and Listed. And in the episode, Jin talked about how all the members came by to support Jin before Jin left, with Jungkook coming by during Jin's head shaving ceremony to see Jin's head shave. And of course, Jin talks about this because it's something that means a lot to him. To have the people that are the most close to him to show up and support him, it makes me almost emotional to think that these boys have such a good support system with each other and that they all love each other. And I want to emphasize that every single member makes an effort to be there for each other when they need each other. It might not always happen, but there is an effort being made and that is the most important part. It's actually more than what we can say for maybe some of our own friends and family who never make an effort to support us. So no, I don't think Jung is getting his head shaved just yet. I think it will happen soon, but we might not get that just yet. I think the news could be announced sometime next year, and this will be long after Jungkook's promotion for Golden is over. And of course, I don't want to see Jungkook bald and gone, but I'm excited for his journey, as I am sure he will love the journey and be excited to grow. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out Patreon for more videos, link down below. Thanks, just love the comment right here. Love you, bye.